my viewers sisters and brothers of the earth planet of the world we are all united together the discovery and invention and the most powerful brain of the mankind created such a miracle that time and space has been conquered we have the fastest flying planes we have the ship in the ocean and we have everything what can unite us and we can live in perfect harmony and peace the miracles of science and technology has given us so much connectivity that i can broadcast directly to you from any corner of the earth through internet services these are all showing the love and care and affection of mankind towards the humanity but unfortunately we have developed a lot of speed we have accumulated a lot of machines and sometimes machines of mass destruction weapons of mass destruction atomic weapons biological weapons and weapons of nuclear arsenals and every country is trying to dominate over other and trying to show their hegemonistic attitude china is at the top us has been the leader and the cold war continued for decades now the cold war is over the soviet union ussr is disintegrated in 1991 but still the nato is surviving and it is really having some kind of memory of the past cold war and trying to really dominate the modern russia dear friends there has been the creation of hate the hegemonistic bestial groveling thought in the mind of the americans they are united with 30 nations in the western europe most powerful among them being uk france germany italy poland spain so many other nations there are 30 nato alliance countries and they are trying really to control russia it's so sad why they want to control anybody in this modern 21st century there is no space for such kind of evil thoughts in the mind they have not to control anyone rather we have to control our own egoistic bestial attitude towards the suffering humanity the humanity is suffering because of greed anger hatred jealousy and cynical thoughts my sisters and brothers in ukraine and the soldiers from both sides russia and ukraine they are dying every day my wealth my infrastructure my sisters and brothers they are dying every day the schools hospitals and the military establishment the nuclear centers they are being targeted why this is happening because of the evil thought in the mind of zelensky he is pro western he has the hegemonistic attitude of the cold war attitude of the western countries it is very sad and as i being a fakir yogi vrindri yogi who love everyone every soul has a feelings and i respect that the world is my family the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone the world is united because we have conquered time and space we should cooperate with each other we should help each other but i tell you human being have never learned lessons because of the ignorance their stupidity their cruelty their inimical attitude towards other nations and other civilizations they have destroyed it from time to time they have invaded they have plundered they have looted they have enslaved and this forget yogi vrindri yogi is really very pain he 
human being have learned how to fly faster than the birds in the air. They have conquered ocean. They can go to the depth of the ocean. They can move faster than any of the living creatures in the ocean. They have landed on moon, Neil Armstrong, 1969. Elon Musk and others, Bezos, they are trying to create a living colony on the Mars. All adventures, all discoveries, all dreamers have done so much. But the stupidity, ignorance, indolence, bestial thoughts of the human being have never taught them how to learn to live on this planet Earth, on the surface of the Earth, where we can live happily without hate, without jealousy, without poisoning, others, countries, situations and conditions, when we can learn, it's very difficult. Even I, when provoked, I become a little disturbed. So we have to keep our balance of mind. That can be only the way we can create a peaceful world. My best friend, Jeff Kennedy, said, peace is possible. War can be avoided. And whatever conflict and whatever differences comes, they are the creation of the brain of the man. There is no such conditions where we cannot sit together around the table and sort out every problem because you want peace. Peace has not cost war in no mad situation because war means nuclear war. Third World War will ruin the planet Earth. We will not survive. I appeal Mr. Joe Biden, the President of America, and Mr. Vladimir Putin, that you are the two superpowers. You will sit together, become friends, embrace each other. I saw one video of Mikhail Gorbachev having very cordial relationship with Ronald Reagan. You must remember that scene after the Cold War War, the disintegrations of the greatest USSR. That kind of affinity, that kind of affection. I also remember Vladimir Putin in the company of George W. Bush in his farmhouse. That kind of invitation to the heads of the states of the other continents can bring peace and harmony, not hegemonistic attitude. What you are going to get out of it? This wealth of the earth belongs to every citizen of the world. Some are rich, some are poor. And so there are a lot of unemployment, a lot of malnutrition, a lot of problems, we should dedicate ourselves and commit ourselves with a full measure of devotion to solve such problems which is man-made and which is also natural calamity. Thank you viewers. Arise, awake and establish a unified world where there is peace, where there is harmony, where there is affinity, where there is a cooperation and where there is no greed and hatred for any other nations. That's the way the, the good earth can survive and provide for everyone. In the world it will have always room for everyone. We can do it with our willpower, with our patience, and with our determination. Nothing is impossible, as said Jeff Kennedy. Thank you very much.